Hey guys, it's Brené. Today we're gonna be making lava cake cupcakes. The first thing we need, one and a half tablespoons of butter, 80 grams of dark chocolate, two tablespoons of castor or super fine sugar. Now this is just regular sugar, but in a bit I'm just going to be telling you what to do with it. One egg beaten, then I'm going to be using one teaspoon of vanilla extract, and then we're gonna be needing two tablespoons of plain flour. As you can see, the recipe doesn't really call for much because this is just single recipe or just for two. For more people, just double the recipe. As I mentioned before, I don't have the kind of sugar that the recipe calls for, but I'm just going to blend my sugar. This is going to sound kind of silly because of the quantity that I'm using, but it does make a difference in like the consistency of the sugar. For this recipe, we're actually going to be using the stove in low heat. The first thing we're going to be doing is melting our butter and chocolate until everything is smooth and don't forget to stir it often. To that, I'm going to be adding my sugar, egg and vanilla. Just try to stir as fast as you can because you're adding egg just to avoid having scrambled egg. Mix until everything is combined, mix really well, then we're going to be adding the flour. So I'm just going to stir this right after because I want my flour to go like everywhere. And then we're going to be using the whisk and we're going to uh, whisk everything until everything is combined. Once that's done, remove from the heat. Now I got this recipe online and the original recipe they used this uh, ramekin dishes. I didn't have them. I am just going to be working with what I have, which is my cupcake pan and my cupcake wrappers. So I'm just going to place those in there. So this recipe is not going to give you a ton of cupcakes. It's going to give you three cupcakes, maybe even four. And now we're going to bake them for 400 for about eight minutes. So once you can grab them, they are not hot still. Just remove them carefully from the cupcake wrapper and then just place them on your plate and then we're going to be dusting them with powdered sugar the icing sugar is going to make them look even prettier and it's going to help with the flavor i was working with this recipe this is the first time that i made it i found it online i'm just going to link it below and i just want to give it a try in the shape of cupcakes if you're into chocolate you're going to like it it's pretty much like eating a brownie but different just give it a try you're gonna like it the flavor is really good, but I feel like I should have done less time on the oven, 7 minutes instead of like 10 minutes, because I feel like the inside is still moist and it's still really good, really yummy, super soft. But the point of this case, I feel like is the inside when you just slice them, like the whole uh, chocolate like dripping all over the place. That's like the point of this one. So if you're looking for that effect when you cut them, just like having chocolate all over your plate, and just don't do a lot of time in the oven. For me this is fine because actually they are still super soft on the inside but they are not like super messy to eat or to enjoy. But again, if you want to go like for less time, just go ahead and do it when you're working in the oven. So if you like this idea and this recipe, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more stuff, more baking stuff, DIYs and don't forget to share it. Thank you so much for your time watching and I'll talk to you later. Bye guys!